Rock Dude here. And Marky Z, and welcome to a special presentation of the uh, Rockin' House. House. Today, we have, well, he's a good friend of mine. Jim Rutherford. Shows, Jim Rutherford, with Crown of Earth, and Power Theory. He's played in that band, still the lead singer of the band right now. Of course, he's now with my band, Night's Rain, Ultimate Dio. Which was an experience. awesome addition to take these guys to the next level. Amazing, uh, amazing. You know, uh... Jim's got that high range, so you really need to uh, yeah. have that high range singer mark to get the job done with Dio. Uh, right. We all know that. So, but he brings the full package, the whole he, thing. Yeah, he, he looks yeah. like Dio, and he has Dio's mannerism. So, yes. when you want to fine tune your Dio act, you know, you have to have all these things in play. All the elements are included. And on another yes. note, if uh, you know, Jim's been doing his uh, local band uh, cover fire. thing too, called uh, Cover yeah. Fire. Yeah. Um, you know, grunge and classic rock kind of band. So yeah, if you want heavy nice. music and go out and have a good time at the local bar, uh, that's Jim's uh, Cover Fire Band. Yeah, man. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to bring Jim onto the show right now and talk about how he got started in the music business. Welcome to the show, the Rockin' House, Jim Rutherford. Jim Rutherford. Here he is, man. Dio himself. What's up, my brother? Hey. Welcome to the show, bro. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. All right, All right. Jim. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Uh, well, that sword, that's freaking great. We don't got the largest set in the world, but there you go. And how cool is that, fans of Dio? He's got the real Celtic sword there to go with the package. And Jim it. looks like a, a Dio. So Absolutely. that's a good thing if you want to do a, a tribute to uh, uh, the next level. Well, my brother, welcome to the show, The Rockin' House. We're glad to have you here for the first time. And so you'll be here let's go, Mark. Again. How did you find this Mr. Jim Rutherford in well, the first place? Well, before we go to that, I <laughs> want to start off with a little history of Jim. Okay. Like Jim, how did you get involved in you know the music business? Uh, well, it started off with probably cover bands. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, well, actually, maybe not cover bands. Okay. I came back from Florida. Mm -hmm. My my friend needed a guitar player for a band called the Prima Donnas. Uh, Joe Rice and Mikey Prima Donna. I know. Played guitar with them for a little bit, and uh, you know then. Kids came into my life. I, well, I played in an original band called Y, where I was a guitar player. Uh -huh. um, had my older son, uh, didn't have time to play guitar so much, so I wound up singing. And okay. I wound up uh, singing with a band uh, called Grind Choir. Oh, they okay. did like an IMDb movie called Zombie X's. Uh, okay. We had a song on the soundtrack of that. Cool. If I had to say, the Prima Donna sound like a, a doo wop band. For some reason, in my, no, in my no, head, no. in not my head, close. No, not Prima Donna's, right? That's <laughs> something from the, from the 50s. I played a couple <laughs> shows, not even close. Not, not even close, okay. No. They're definitely they're definitely metal. Yeah, metal. They're definitely metal. More glam, probably a little glam involved with that. Yeah. So, you, so you, you all, your your background in music is all heavy metal then, basically. Yeah. To a degree. Heavy yeah. metal, grunge, yeah. Um, okay, the so original yeah. music scene in Philly, um, is where I really started singing a lot. Right. Uh, Fade eighty eight, uh, my own original band in Evidus. Um mm. But then, uh, from from playing in my band in Evidus is how I met Power Theory. Nice, because we played shows together. Yes. And our paths crossed, and they needed a singer, so I, I signed with Power Theory. Which I still sing with them now. Which yes. I would say is your most noted project to date. You guys tour around the world. You have a record deal and things of that nature, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, we we released an album in 2019 on with Pure Steel Records. Yep. Um, it's called Force of Will. It's a yep. full-length album. Nice. Uh, of course, and I have a biased opinion. I love the album. I think it's great. <laughs> Power Theory but, rocks, dude. Yeah. You know, we went, we met on yeah, the tours. Yeah, I met. I met Mark. New York, yeah. Ohio, uh, you know, out of state shows, and it was awesome because uh, we're both like a progressive type metal band. I used to be in Crown of Earth. Power Theory, Jim Rutherford sings for that, and that's how we we got connected. You know, the Power Theory band, and you look at the uh, the band shots and all, because, you know, that's what I do. It's great stuff, and it's just, they look the part. They look like something that plays on one of the big European uh, oh, yeah. festival stages, you know, and has Absolutely. that particular sound. So Absolutely. Yeah. If in, in the Philadelphia market, that's where you're based at? Yes. And so, in this market, you got a great, genuine, heavy metal act to uh, follow or check out Power Theory. Yeah. Thank you. Um, before we get into that, 
you know, uh, Power Theory's got some pretty awesome stuff. You want to make an announcement about you guys are going overseas to play a show. Yeah, we're, we're playing the Hard Summer Festival on September 2nd in Falkenfields, Germany. So, cool. Definitely that? looking yeah, forward to that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking that. about, Jim. Definitely yeah. looking forward to that. Very awesome. Yeah. Okay, so Very now. Very glad to have that uh, Bob brought <coughs> into Power Theory. Nice. It's, nice. it's been a really awesome experience. All right, so let's get into So you're going to bring that reason. awesome Power Theory experience into this Geo project. So how, how cool was that? So yep. you're right in tune with what has to happen. So what I say is uh, Dio, one of your idols maybe, or someone you admire in the singing field? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. He's, he's directly influenced me. That's the uh, heavy metal icon as we know him to be, so it's not a hard choice to make. No, not <laughs> right. at all. So let's get into the real reason why we got Jim on the show, besides, you know, what he does outside of that, is Knight's Rain Ultimate Dio Experience, which I feel very blessed to be involved with this project. Me and Johnny Wads, guitar player, we started this project five years ago, and it's just been snowballing and snowballing to where it is now. And we landed this guy right here willing to do everything to make it the best ever experience of Dio for all you guys out there that love Dio, Black Sabbath, Rainbow, Heaven and Hell. Jim Rutherford is bringing that and bringing it to life on stage for you. Brother, you know, what you I, know let's talk what I would about say, that. What I would say, Mark, you know, as an objective observer, you know, helping you guys out with photo and stuff, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you've been connecting the dots slowly by little. You yes. weren't what you were in the beginning, but no. now you got the pieces now that yes. really can kick some butt out there with the major <sighs> acts that do Dio. Oh, yeah. With the addition of Phil Wax on drums, yep. a noted drummer in the Philadelphia yep. market, you yep. know, uh, yep. was a great, great bonus for you guys. And now you got the real deal singer that can really belt out the Dio high range. Oh, absolutely. And then, you know, we've been connected with a fellow named Kobe Reese. Mm -hmm. Fel I got to tell you, 12 years old, he's the best backup drummer Phil Wax could have when he was laid up from his car accident. Absolutely. Kobe came in and did some damage, man. This 12-year-old is amazing. Jim knows. Amazing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe walked into the room, he introduced himself, yep. said he was excited to meet me and couldn't wait to play with me, and I'm thinking, well, I saw your videos. I can't wait to play with you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I closed my eyes and listened to him play those drums, and I, I thought, man, it's like Vinny Apice's in the room himself. So, a lot of he, power he, coming he, at him. What I can additionally say about Kobe, he has a great ear, plays the tunes like like the, the record, and he's ferocious. I mean, he's a skinny little dude that just can pound the shit out of the yeah, drums. It's unbelievable. And he's like a turbo, like a Taylor Hawkins level energy kind of player. Yeah. So what I can say about that, he did at the uh, Front Street um, station with yeah. you for the first show. That's my first show. Kobe did the entire show. Unbelievable. It was his first First time. video oh. I seen out was, um, what was that one? Uh, Heaven and Hell, okay. No. And then that was actually the last song of the night, and Kobe was still racing around the drum. So, Killing it. Yeah. Uh, props up, props to Kobe for all of that. Absolutely. So he got to work with, with you for the first time. And Kobe's actually an amazing <laughs> front man. Oh, uh, He's yeah. a great singer. He, uh, he's actually going to be playing Bamboozle Fest. Um, yeah. I saw him play live uh, two Which, Saturdays ago. By the way, he fronted that band <coughs> like a pro. We're, we're so have an, an all of Kobe Reese. We can make it the Kobe Reese hour, but we just wanted to give him some props for helping out the band and being who he is and being a, a fine young uh, gentleman. Well, we might have to add our, our drummer also helps Kobe Reese because he is the drummer. Now that Phil Wax is healed and That's he's right, back Mark. in action, he is the one that Kobe picked to play drums for That's Reese. True. So, so it's, the thing know, everybody is, helps each other, man. Kobe's at another level than a 12-year-old. His, his yeah. peers his own age, yeah. he, he's, he's, he's so advanced at playing with adult musicians of notoriety is where he's at. So that's what he does. And like uh, Mark said, Phil Wax, uh, his drummer, uh, yeah. lends a hand with his solo band called uh, uh, Reese. show today with this special presentation Jim is what was it like when you had the opportunity to be the possible singer for Night's Rain knowing that the level of musicians that we we've developed ourselves to be and we were looking for the right guy I know we had a guy that we liked him and all that but he just wasn't quite 
the level we need it to be, and then somehow you come into the picture. Well, you know, it's funny. I you're I you're, an legit, story. you're a legit uh, metal singer. I could tell you that. So that's Thank my you. perspective on it. I uh, I went to the movies to the movie theater to see uh, the documentary about Ronnie James Dio, Dreamers Never Die. Mm -hmm. And right. it was a pretty powerful uh, documentary. Agreed. And it was coming close to the end of the movie, and this this picture came on the screen, and it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And my son's right next to me, and he's he's nudging me, he's nudging me, and it was it was a picture of me with Ronnie James Dio from a show <laughs> that I saw him play in Ybor City, Tampa, like the Tampa Bay area in Florida, uh, 1994 at a little place called the Ritz Theater. Wow. And uh, wow. I was overwhelmed, and I just, I just felt like, you know what? Like, Dio, he's, he's just been, always been like a gift that keeps on giving to me. Like, I, I mean, he's, his music's always touched me and inspired me. I mean, back then I never thought I'd ever sing, but uh, huh? when I saw that picture come up, I, I thought, you know what? I would love, I would love to bring a show. And this is kind of touches back on another band. Um, there's a band in our area called, well, now they're world touring band called Get the Let Out. Hey. And the singer of that band, Paul Sinclair, mm -hmm. I've always been very impressed with Paul. He's good. Because, because yeah. it, like, what I want to do, I want to bring Dio from the heart. I feel like that's what Paul's done with Led Zeppelin. He's brought Led Zeppelin from the heart. You're, you want he, he said at his shows, he wants, he wants people to experience what it would be like to be at a real Led Zeppelin show for, so these younger generations could experience it. How cool it. is that? And I thought, you know what? I... I would love to bring that from the heart with Ronnie James Dio's music so younger kids could, and fans, true fans of Dio, could, could still get to experience that. And you're doing that. You know, people, trying. music fans who know Get the Lead Out or like uh, tribute bands, uh, Get the Lead is a prime example of how you do things right. Yes. Yes, agreed. Absolutely. Very good uh, model to go after is yeah. Get the Lead Out, for yeah, sure. A lot of respect for Get the Lead Out and Paul Sinclair. So what do you think the future's looking like for us in this night's rain Dio tribute? The main purpose we're here on this special presentation today. Well, I'm just here to do my part. I mean, to, to sum it up, playing with Night's Rain, from the first moment I got in a room with Night's Rain, my, my literal description when I went home was, it's like I got to go in a time machine and be in a room and play with Dio's band. That's what it, that was, that's what it was like for me. And... Uh, it was just like, you know, sing a couple songs with us, sing a few songs with us, and two hours later, we were, uh, we were, we were through a whole bunch of songs. Fifteen. And you got three other guys that have their hearts in the right place, too, to try to reproduce this as, as, as accurately as possible. Uh, so um, yep. when, when you got a bunch of guys that are on the same page to try to accomplish the same goal right. or goals, it's, it's an amazing thing, and you can make this all work. You know, we're, we're just in the early stages of this process. So... Yep. Basically, uh, when you guys uh, start developing what you're doing, um, it's a great thing what I see already. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, awesome. Well, you know what? I want to thank you for coming to the show. I uh, appreciate you coming for the special presentation for Night's Rain, the ultimate deal experience, which these guys got to get out there and check it out. Jim, Jim Rutherford, brings it folks. To life. Come check okay. us out. We have a show coming April 21st. Sweeney Saloon. And when you're out and about, Cover Fire and yep. uh, Power Theory, Power Theory. Uh, two other bands to check out. That's yeah. right, man. Co cover Fire is the local cover band that I play in. And, yep. uh, they play most, most places in the area. You can find it, yeah. Yep. Bridgeport Rip House, yep. Pain Tavern, Tom's Park. I was there. I was there. Yeah. Anywhere that has a cover band. If, if we're not there, we should be. Nice. And we go, we go from as early as the 60s to... Stuff that just came out in in the past recent year or so. But if you want nice. a big dose of grunge music or Pretty the cool. '90s kind of metal, uh, they do that as well. Awesome. All right. Well, I want to say thank you, Jim, for coming and being a guest on the show, my brother. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. What'd you bring this for, Keith? We got out of hand here. <laughs> oh, I thought it. I thought it might look good. All right. No, well. but that's uh. Uh, a good prop for what Dio does, you know, the sorcery, the... Uh, it looks like the ultimate The, the metal, uh, just perfect. At, uh, you know, when you do your act, it'll be a great thing to have, and when we get the photo, uh, photo shoot together, it'll be cool, too, that way. Which All we'll right. be doing today, by the way, so thank you for watching. I'm Marky Z, my partner, Rock Dude, and Jim, and we're out.
you.